In this video, we're going to build a open bomb uh, build material from a SolidWorks PDM data card and go through a couple of uh, couple of versions. So here I'm creating a new space in my PDM, which I will drag a folder of some SolidWorks files into. So I've got a folder of an assembly and some parts, which uh, just out on my my drive. I'm going to drag it into my new my model new folder. Okay, so this is in PDM. So I got some new data in here. I'm going to kind of browse around a bit, lead with the assembly. I see that uh, I don't have any information about it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and check this into my vault. Okay, so um, SolidWorks PDM knows about this now. I'm going to you know, check it back out. Take a look at my bomb tab. Go ahead and set my open bomb setting to uh, <clears throat> how I, what I want and build a build material. Again, this is building it from the uh, data card um, user interface. All right, so I just built a bomb for the uh, root assembly and here it is an open bomb. All good. Let's take a look uh, closely, more closely at part four. Okay, so let's return to uh, PDM. And now I'm just gonna build a parts list for this. That other bomb was single level. This parts list is going to have all the parts in the uh, assembly structure. There's kind of two different methods that you can, bomb types that you can build in Open Bomb. Okay, here we go. Now we've got parts one through four. Again, that's a parts list, okay. All right, so now let's focus a little closer on part four. We're gonna make a change here, run a life cycle. I'm gonna check out part four and give it a description, test description. This uh, is an example of making a change to a part. I'm gonna save that back into uh, PDM, put it back in the vault. Okay, so I just checked out that part, checked it back in. Let's go look at the uh, top level assembly. Start browsing around a little bit on that. We see that we've got a uh, build material. Here's latest. We see that our description is in there. And as, as built, of course, it was not in there yet. So I'm gonna check that assembly in and now I'll be picking up the latest changes from part four. Okay, there we go. So now let's um, update the build material. Okay, that was, I uh, was sitting on version one there. Let's go ahead and update with the new version two. Okay. All right, so now version two, we would expect to see that description in there. And there it is. So we just uh, built off a data card and went through a couple of versions.